Most of you have heard of Walter from the classic James Bond. You know, in the older films, 007 was always carrying a Walter PPK. Recently, Walther released their WMP in the WMR. Now, the new Walther Magnum pistol comes in the Winchester Magnum Rimfire or the 22 Mag. Now, the idea is to have a light, easy-to-shoot pistol for the range and fun, but maybe, if needed, for life-threatening situations. You know, as they say, it's your duty to be ready. Now, Walther claims that this isn't just another target practice plinker. They developed a high-quality, lightweight, easy-to-shoot, and affordable pistol for outdoor enthusiasts and potentially an option for self-defense where the shooter may not want to or be able to handle something with more recoil. At least, that's what they're claiming. Now, now this comes with all the latest and greatest technology like optics ready, best in the class ergonomics, and a first time patented ambidextrous reloading or quad mag release. Now that could be interesting. Another note, 22s and 22 mag pistols are kind of notorious for being unreliable or frequently having feeding issue or jams. Now many of you, you know what I'm talking about. Let's just see how well the WMP performs. Will it live up to Walther's claims? Yeah, I don't know. How reliable is it? There's only one way to find out. There we got it. All right, guys. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Is new Walther's WMP all it's cracked up to be? Let's start by taking a look at the specs and tech and go from there. Okay, let's just do a really fast out of the box here. drop here we also have the paddle here and then same on the other side and then the traditional and then we have the slide release which is also ambidextrous now these are not porting vents okay we see the barrel here this is just simply you know lightning cuts to lighten the gun we've got a nice rail here on the bottom um, nice fiber optic sight. Okay, double check there. And the trigger pull. We've got multiple safeties. It's a nice trigger. Now the paddle, it's a little stiff. Okay. The lever, though, that shoots it out. Okay, but this I'm finding... Well, there we go. Just got to push it hard. Okay, so it comes with two 15-round mags. I would love to see them increase the mag capacity. You know, if they could come up with a way to double stack this, that would be huge because that would double our carry capacity, and that would be, I think, a game changer. And this comes optics ready, so we've got our two screws here, and this will come off, and then we come with all the different plates. I've got uh, some optics coming that we'll try, but before we do that, we're going to see how well it does just with the old iron sights. And then, of course, we have the instruction manual and lock. One of the claims that they make is, you know, best ergonomics in its class. I'm going to be honest, it, it's really 
comfortable. Does not feel like I'm shooting a 22. Um, it fits really nicely in the hands. We have really aggressive uh, texturing here that's going to make it easy to hold on. Okay, so just up close. Other than the ejection port, this is truly ambidextrous. Okay, guys, I'll admit it. I am a bit of a trigger snob. Let's see what we got here. A little bit of creep. That's pretty crisp and clean. For, you know, a non-matched trigger, let's check the reset. Pretty long reset. It was audible. A little bit of creep. Okay, let's see what we've got. They say four and a half pounds. I'm showing five and a half on this one. Got five on that one. There we got four and a half on that one. For the sights, we've got a fiber optic front and for a rear, just a real simple dovetail. Yeah, for the it looks great on paper. Most everything does. It does feel really good in the hands, but that doesn't mean much. Let's see what we can get for groups with the iron sights before I had the optic on it. Uh, take it back to the CQB range, and then we're really going to put it to the test, and we're going to put a red dot on it. You, uh, getting ready to see what we get with iron sights, and I just noticed, and it's you know it might seem small, but I absolutely love it when magazines, especially 22s, have this for easy loading. I still would love to see this get way up there in numbers. So we're testing out the iron sights, and this is what we're using for ammo. I've had great luck with this CCI. We're at 25 yards. Let's just take a look at the groups I just got. Uh, okay, I mean, that's a, that's a tight group. But that's really high um, and to the left we could adjust a little bit to the right it's not going to do anything for the height um, yeah i'm going to go back and see make sure i didn't miss something in the manual uh, as far as the ability to adjust the elevation okay, so i just switched to the rear dovetail sight that was included with it that's shorter um, i used a polymer dowel here to tap that out i think i got it you know centered we'll find out let's just fire off some rounds and see what that did to the elevation of our group always helps to read direction so our shots were just a little bit to the left actually the, you know they were pretty much about the elevation that i wanted so we did if they're grouping to the left we did just an ever so slight tap to the right let's see what that did okay so at 25 yards you know one, two, three, four. I think that was my last group there. You know, it's about as good as we're going to get for elevation. I did just another little tap to the right. I would like to get them in here, actually, and like to go to the range and use the iron sights for a while. I think we're going to be able to do that. Let's uh, let's fire off another group. So I, two more times, I did just a slight tap. That's the thing with the tapping. You know, you want to tap really light because you don't want to go clear over here and then have to come back. I got one, I think there's maybe two shots there. One, two, three. Anyway, I've got them moved to the right. Um, I was aiming just a little bit high, but it's, you know, it's better than the other rear sight where I was aiming here and I got here. And then I'm with the original sight, I aimed here on top of my front post and I got that group. Then I switched and then I started slowly creeping over. I'm gonna leave this, we're gonna call this good, and we're gonna go back and do some mag dumps at the CQB range before we put on an optic. So I'm back here at the CQB range. I've got my wife, Dee Dee, and I'm gonna have her try this because you know one of the things it's suggested is for self-defense. So before we get the iron sight, I want to give Dee, Dee an opportunity to try, or sorry, before we get an optics mounted on it, I want to give Dee, Dee an opportunity to try it with the iron sights. So, you ready to start having some fun? Yeah. All right, let's have some fun.
I think it has less recoil uh, than some of the other 22 mags. Okay, I handed it to Dee Dee because she's a lefty, and lefties you will empathize, but we've got the quad mag release. Now for you, lefty, yeah. yeah. How does that feel? That's better. That, I actually like that. Okay, so would you say that that is the, the best or the easiest way for a mag release? The finger release is the easiest mag release that I've come across so far. There you go. And she's a lefty. Um. What do you think of the grip? I like it, actually. Is it comfortable? Yeah, I like the feel of this one in my hand. It, it feels like uh, like a lot of the 9s, 45, 10, yes, some yes, of those. Yes. It doesn't feel like a 22. Right, no. I think that was sort of the idea. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I do. I like that. Now, I have noticed, and maybe this will change as it breaks in, but the slide release has been just a bit on the stiff side. I keep forgetting that finger. I really like that finger mag release, but I forget that it's there. Hey, now real quick, I just, I wanted to make a note because we were sitting here talking. We're actually reviewing several things back here at the same time. Uh, we're reviewing another 22 mag. Uh, I'm not gonna say what we're reviewing, but how do you think it compares to this? I prefer this one. By just a little? No, I prefer this one by quite a large margin, actually. Yeah, in fact, we were getting ready. She was getting ready to shoot the other one. She's like, yeah, no, I really don't want to shoot that one anymore, but I'll shoot this one some more. So anyway, um, as I always say, it is what it is. Now for the red dot, I just happened to be reviewing Sealy's Wolf O or Wolf Zero, however you want to say that. Let's get this zeroed at 25 yards and continue having some fun testing this out and just see how they so perform. Anyway, the Walter came with the two plates. These are polymer plates. Now my first thought was, okay, polymer, not metal, but actually, you know, the more I'm thinking about it, I think the more I, I might like the polymer, it's not gonna heat or shrink, or sorry, it's not gonna expand or contract with temperature. We'll find out. Um, you know, polymers these days, they're, they're pretty tough. This is the one that actually fits on. So I've got that ready to go. And then what came with the Walter is we've got our different screws and a couple wrenches and pretty much everything we need. Real quick, I just want to show you the sight picture and what I'm seeing. The dot on this red dot is as crisp, clean, and discreet as they get. Um, I absolutely love this red dot. Um, the adjustments are audible, ever so slightly palpable, um, or I should say, ever so slightly palpable and ever so slightly audible but man we got some really good groups with this let's go take a look so i got my very first shot down here and then we made some adjustments came up here um i overcompensated and then came back i mean look at that group guys look at all those shots in one hole and then I transitioned over and this is like my last five shots there. <laughs> Guys, this thing is a tack driver. I love it. We're calling this last group here good. We're done. We're gonna go back and have some fun in the CQB range. Okay, so I got to zero the other morning. I've got a nice, nice morning here with no wind. Let's see what we can do at 50 yards with the red dot on it. And then we're gonna jump over to 100 yards before we go back to the CQB range. Nice. This thing, this thing is a fire breather. It's loud, it's hard to even hear. The Let's see what we can do with this standing at 100. Nice. You know, 
what that means. We gotta try two. Let's see if we can get it before the wind kicks up. There we got it. All right guys, let's give it a go now. You notice my coffee's over here and I haven't finished it, so I'm gonna use that if I can't hit anything. <laughs> nice a 22 pack 22 mag pistol at 200 yards okay so we got the red dot mounted on it we're back at the cqb range we already tested it out at 100 and 200 and that really says it all but uh you know the real question is is as far as rapid transitioning and we just want to give it some more rounds because so far this thing has run flawlessly have not had not one not one single jam feed issue, nothing. Uh, we're, you know, we're getting up around 200 rounds, so I want to put some more through it to give it the test. So real quick, guys, when you have a red dot on a pistol, one of the ideas is, is to keep both eyes open. So let's do both eyes open and see how we do. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It'll Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Let's try down there at 25. If you can see way down there in the trees, let's try 50.
There you go, guys. It is what it is. That's about as kiss as it gets. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, hit that subscribe button. This really does help the most. Be sure to like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, everybody's watching. That makes you, me, ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.